Hi guys, welcome to the channel Knives on Flames. All of you guys are in for a treat today. We're going to be making gluten-free and dairy-free orange and almond friands. So guys, let's hook into it. I've got two navel oranges. First thing to do, cut the ends off. Straight into the pan. So we got our pan on, boiling water. We're going to poach our oranges for at least around two hours or more than two hours. Just one half. We want our oranges to be very soft and moist so they absorb all the water in there. And then we'll go from there. So guys, we have poached our oranges for more, just more than an hour with lid on. Now all the water in there, we need to evaporate the water. So we'll just let it simmer for another hour or so. So guys, as you can see, all the water has been evaporated. Our oranges are very nicely poached. So we'll turn the gas off, leave it to cool down for at least 15 minutes to half an hour. Guys, we're gonna preheat our oven for 20 minutes on 170 degrees Celsius. So guys, our oranges are ready, they cool down. So now we're gonna bring it all together. Just gonna slice our oranges. Very nice and moist. Exactly how we wanted it. So guys, I've got this rubber coop with me over here. I'm gonna put everything in there and all we need is a very nice fine puree. So first thing to get in there is our oranges. Next, 250 grams of almond meal, 250 grams of white sugar, five eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, Let's get the lid on. Get it going. Let's have a look. Looking all fine. So basically, that's what we need. A very fine puree. is ready so guys now our mix is ready what I've got over here is a muffin tray I've got it very nicely oiled so it won't stick to the base We'll use this ice cream scoop to scoop our mix into the trays here so we have an even mix. Guys, this is all ready to bake. So we're gonna start baking it at 170 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes first and then we'll check. So 
here we go guys this is all ready so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave them in there for at least five minutes to cool down not more than that because the moisture in the france will get it stick to the tray and that's what we don't want so we'll take it out in five minutes <laughs> 